perfect. Hey, I like it. This is Rama from Creatures Landscape Designs and the Earth Friendly Landscapes blog. I'm here at a project that was just finished in Fountain Valley, designed by me, installed by the plant nerd, and I wanted to show you the process of install. But before I do, I make videos about drought tolerant plants, California native plants, sustainability, and anything and everything in between. So if you'd like to get more of that content in your feed, then hit the red subscribe button down below. I'm also a residential landscape designer, so I'll have a link to my business website in the description of the video. So let me turn this camera around. Okay, so most of the grass we're keeping because the homeowners want to keep the grass, most of it anyway, but what we are doing is this planter and back there we're replanting and then in here we are extending the planter, making it wider. But yeah, and we're keeping the pitosporum silver sheen. And most of the plants we're using is a mixture of succulents, California natives, etc. They're just digging out enough to make it level. See, so we're here, day two of this project. All the grass that's supposed to be removed has been. This grass we're keeping. And then this is the fender board. Hopefully you can see it. That is going to be put here. To separate the planting area from the grass area. And then, if I can get to this side yard and show you, hopefully. So these flagstone pavers, which I think are the Oklahoma buckskin variety, are gonna be used way over there to allow access to the gate. They're just going to be simply soft set. But yeah, the plant nerd crew is checking away. I think probably most of today is going to be irrigation work and then tomorrow, super early, I'm going to come here and place the plants. Alright, so we've got plants and we're moving rocks. Not exactly the lightest, but you know. <laughs> Dang. Yes, sir, all three of them. I would say the big one in the back for sure. All right, so this is what the yard is looking like. It's completely finished. And the planter there, which you can't really see, we put some uh, red yucca and woolly blue curls. Siski blue fescue and woolly blue curls in this planter. A red yucca in that planter in the back. We have some sundrops, Aeonium, Cleveland Sage, Holy Blue Curls, Three Bird of Paradise, Siski Blue Fescue, and Red Yucca in this big planter. The mulch here is Red Lava Rock, which I really love. It just adds a little something, just does a little something. And then of course the flagstone to kind of lead a path to the side gate, which is kind of cool. And that plant is existing, so we kept it. And eventually we're going to add some pottery and accessories to the front door. But yeah, this looks really cool. 
and I really love it. It's took about a week to install.